Let's Go Outdoors with Michael Short. Supported by the Alberta Conservation Association. Conserving Alberta's wild side. We're on the rooftop in South Edmonton to introduce some pretty neat technology. You know, a lot of us don't like Big Brother knowing what we're doing, but in this case, we're utilizing some brand new camera technology that is going to allow a lot of people to tune into a very private life, the private life of the peregrine falcon. This bird is very close to coming off the endangered protected list. We're going to be able to have, pardon the pun, a bird's eye view of some chicks hatching up here on the Weber building in downtown Edmonton. You got it? Just getting the, the right shot is, is a challenge, of course. Finding the right equipment. Uh, in this case, we're taking technology that is uh, environmentally friendly. So we're using uh, wind turbine to power as well as solar. And so this is an off-the-grid off solution. You know, it's, a, it's a more pleasing view if you're out in front like that. I mean, the only thing she could land on it and push it yeah. down, unless you have a boom or something that's solid. Yeah, I mean, we've had cameras on these birds before, but not cameras as good as this, and, and certainly with technology like this, uh, to be able to move the cameras, uh, follow birds uh, remotely from a cell phone of all things, uh, is just uh, space age technology. And uh, the other thing, we're hoping to maybe, maybe have a, an infrared option as well to see things going on in the nest boxes when, when uh, we're not normally uh, able to see in the dark. And they do some neat things in the dark, as we know. <laughs> yeah. well, well, we'll keep it clean, Gordon. Yeah, okay. <laughs> In order for you to watch the live feed, very simple. Go to the Alberta Conservation Association's website. That's ab-conservation.com. Log in there. What a great way to spend a little bit of time to get to know one of these remarkable birds. Alberta Conservation Association. Since 1997, more than $120 million has gone towards conserving wildlife and fish and securing habitat, creating a lasting legacy for Albertans.